Oh boy, here we go. Hey guys, Mario Mario here, and today we're going to be doing a part two of my animation stuff collection. And as you can see, I have gotten a lot more stuff since the last time. So you can see with all these art portfolios and things just coming out of it, we should just go right into this. Um, I'll start off with the bottom first and we could work our way all the way to the top. So let's get started. All right, we're starting off with the largest portfolio I have. And the first thing that we have here is the Butch Mario and Luigi Kid VHS uh, print copy cover. Um, I have a bunch of these uh, print copy covers. They're uh, really glossy. As you can see here, here's the great BMX race one. Uh, it's kind of missing a lot of other details as these ones seem to show everything on it. Going to the next one, we have Mario meets Koopzilla. This one's matted on a board and cut out with pieces of paper. And this one surprisingly has a uh, seal on it. I don't know why, but uh, you can tell both are different. Uh, Positioned wise, you can see this one, Mario's kind of closer to the house. Well, this one, he's a little more far away. This one's the original, and this one is just a whatever copy. So, moving on to the next, we have Mario, King of Cramelot, or King Mario of Cramelot um, cover. This is the whole thing. Uh, these aren't actual pieces of tape. They're just um, pictures of the covers. Here's Mario's uh, great carpet. Um, as you can see, there's a character not from the show. She was never in any episode of the Super Show. Um, next, here are the back VHS cover art. These are on the back. Um, this one's the uh, Great BMX Race, and this one is Mario meets Koopzilla. Um, as you can see here, oh, well, I guess I skipped the page. Here's a uh, promo cell. Of for Mario 3 with a unused Tanuki suit design, which is really cool. Definitely wanted to pick this up because of the uh, unused design of Mario. As you can see, this was never used. And uh, really, really weird, strange art. Next we have, I think this one's the Great Gladiator gig back cover for the VHS, and this one, King Mario Cremlot. These are pretty cool to see because uh, you don't get to see the full art on the uh, back of the covers of the VHS. Alright, so here's what we, uh, now that we're on, we have this Mario 3 art. I'm pretty sure this wasn't used for anything, just testing purposes. Uh, might be a cover to something because uh, there's little boxes there, but who knows. We have this Sonic Underground layout here. This one's pretty cool. has a nice shot of Sonic running on Yep. Next one, we have this Sonic Set AM opening layout. Um, how do I know it's Set AM? Because the production code at the bottom 238, uh, 610, that's Set AM's uh, production number for the entire series. And as, as you can see, this is the second frame. Um, looks very different from the uh, opening, but this is Set AM. Next, we have this SpongeBob layout. Um, I think it's from the episode Texas. Um, great shot of Spongebob. Next we have this unused PSA for no drugs from Deke with the unused designs of Mario, Luigi, and Toad. So uh, very interesting. Next we have this um, funny meme that uh, somebody made at Deke and was uh, distributing them throughout the studios. I guess for uh, Margio or something. Uh, fun story with this one. Um, the joke behind this one probably comes from Bartzan or Uktar. Uktar's original name was Bartzan. So I uh, kind of put the two and two together and somebody made a joke in the studio and this probably happened. So uh, really glad to own this uh, meme. Next we have this Donkey Kong Jr. cereal flamingo sketch and the matching cell to that. Looks really nice. And on the next page, we have the uh, cereal um, and the vines that was in the commercial. And here's Donkey Kong Jr. himself. Um, next, we have are these giant pan backgrounds. 
would be easier to do this. This one's from Never Koopa Koopa from Mario 3. Uh, this one's from Dadzilla from Mario 3. This one's very, very long. Um, next we have this up up and a Koopa background or as you guys know it as the Luigi eats a pancake and goes flying into the ceiling scene this is the background if you did not know that um, this one is from uh, recycled Koopa when uh, he has the ship and he's telling all his uh, human slaves to go get Mario and Luigi and uh, we get back to this this one's from the Supercade uh, Donkey Kong cartoon. This is a model reference cell. These are cells on a board background Here's a uh, animation cell of Jumpman Mario from the uh, Saturday Supercade show and Also, here is Donkey Kong Jr. from his Saturday Supercade show um, Here are some Donkey Kong cereal commercial sketches and animation cells as you can see this one both has the cell and the sketch and a certificate of authenticity and moving on we have uh, more sketches of Jumpman Mario and here's another one with another certificate of authenticity and this one actually goes unused in the commercial I'm pretty sure uh, there's no rips online with this shot of Mario being used and I'm pretty sure of this one too so uh, yeah here we have even more backgrounds. This is a, another background from Never Koopa Koopa. Um, you don't get to see this full background actually because it, uh, the fade in effect is um, at right after this, so you don't get to see pretty much like all of this. So, yeah, this is the full background. This one's from Life's Rough when Luigi gets turned into a dog. Um, nothing too interesting with this background, it's from the spaceship scene. Here is Toad's house or Princess Toadstool's house, also from Up Up and a Koopa, and as you can see the uh, little section where Luigi goes flying up while eating the pancakes. Um, this one I have not been able to find the episode from, this might be unused, um, not sure, but I uh, still have to rewatch all the episodes to know what it's from. And this last one is from Super Koopa, when Toad is uh, gathering all the power-ups and uh, throwing it into the uh, chest to bring into the uh, real world Paris. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next art portfolio that we have. All right, here we go. This next one is my anime and miscellaneous one. Um, as you can see here, we have Boy Ranma from Ranma 1 half. Then we have a nice Doga kind of layout of Girl Ranma and another one of Girl Ranma. This next one we have a nice setup of Girl Ranma. This one is of a Kane, and there's also a, a Doga behind her. Here is Nabiki Tendo, and here is a nice shot of Boy Ranma from the later seasons because of uh, he has no sleeves. Here's one of Hanako from the uh, fourth OVA of the series. Um, I have not one. But I have three of her crying, all from the same scene. And here is a Girl Ranma fan cell I bought a while ago because I liked it. Um, here we have the Dragon Ball stuff. Here's one of Vegeta, a really nice shot of Vegeta. And then I have this really giant long pan cell of Vegeta from the Namek Saga. And next, we have this awesome cell of Goku. This is my uh, favorite cell of Goku. It's a really nice shot. There's barely any line fading on him, so it's really nice. But he's sadly stuck to his Doga. And here's my second favorite Dragon Ball cell of Super Saiyan Goku from the Frieza fight. Next, we have some Slayer cells of Lina and the uh, priest, the demon priest. Uh, here's more Slayer Cells. Um, I forgot his name actually, so uh, moving on. We have Gari doing the uh, wolf thing, I think, attack. Or that might have been Yamcha's thing. It was another wolf wave attack from Slayers. There's a lot of attacks that I don't uh, quite remember. Um, here's some funny cells of 
the uh, little DNA copies of Lena and Gari. Next we have is the uh, Doga from that. You can see there's a ton of writing because there was a lot going on so they couldn't mess up. And uh, here's a great shot of Lena, Gari, Amelia, and Zell. All four of them on one cell running. And here's the Ganga for that one. Next we have Morgan from Darkstalkers, from the Darkstalkers OVA. And here's also the Ganga to that. Next, we're moving on to the miscellaneous stuff that I have. This is a Link from the Legend of Zelda cartoon from Deke. And here's another shot of Link that I have. And here is a shot of Zelda. And I'm pretty sure this one's from the Excuse Me Princess scene. Next, we have a cell of Dr. Wily from the Captain N cartoon. And then here we have some motto sheets of the Congo Land citizens. Um, this came with uh, my Mario 3 promo cells. So yeah, they guess they were just in the lot. And here's a goofy looking Tetris citizen. Very goofy looking indeed. And uh, last in this portfolio that I have, I have no idea what this is from. This came with one of my Mario cells to protect the back of it. I just have no idea what cartoon this is from. If you know, please feel free to comment it. I would really like to know what this is from. Alright, so let's move on to the next art portfolio that I have. Alright, moving on into the much more cooler stuff. We're starting off with Mega Man. Here is an animation cell, a roll from the Ruby Spears Mega Man cartoon. Uh, Here is one of the Proto Bot of basically Kid Proto Man. Uh, here's a great shot of Dr. Wily. Here's one of a uh, kind of not so great cell, but it's a crowd from one of the episodes of the Ruby Spears Mega Man cartoon. Came with uh, all the all the uh, other cells. Here's a really really nice shot of Proto Man that comes with the uh, uh, border and the background from the Rockman Seven Double Buster campaign. Next we have is another one of Mega Man with the same background. These are all Season 1 cells. Next we have this cell of Elect Man from Season 2. This is from uh, the Dream Bot episode. Pretty sure. Now we're moving on to Mega Man 8 animation cells. This one's of Guts Man and here's the Doga from the opening cinematic. Um, a close-up of Guts Man and also here's the uh, Doga from the frame after that. These were all stuck. All the Gutsman cells were stuck to the uh, Dogas of the frame after the cell. So here's the uh, another close up. And here's what was stuck under behind that. I carefully removed them. And here's the uh, best shot of Gutsman from the opening throwing the rock. And here's the Doga of that one. Moving on to the uh, mid-game cutscene, here is the uh, trio animation cell. Um, he has no Doga, he's just on that. Here's one of Mega Man running from, um, I guess, in Dr. Light's lab. And then here's a cell of Dr. Light in his lab, also leaving. And here is the Doga to that one. Next is a really great shot of Duo in the lab sleeping, and here's the Doga from that one. These were pretty difficult to remove. I removed them carefully. They're all stuck. And here's the uh, when uh, the door closes, it gets really dark in the room, so you can see they made two cells and two Gengas and Dogas. Also from the same cutscene, uh, Duo screaming. Here's the uh, Ganga Doga from that one. Here's a really nice shot of Mega Man from the mid-game cutscene. Here's the Doga to that one. Great shot of Duo from the ending cutscene. And uh, another cell that was stuck to the frame after uh, the Doga. And here's a great shot of Mega Man from the ending. And here is the Doga to that one. So let's move on to the next art portfolio that I have. 
All right, next one we have is Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, as you can see, we have this nice cell of Sonic and Tails from the very first episode of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Next, we have some uh, more of Dr. Robotnik from the first episode. Uh, really nice cells. Um, here's an amazing one from the first episode. Here's one a of Scratch and Grounder from the first episode. Uh, these backgrounds aren't correct. These are just whatever backgrounds. Um, there's two Scratch and Grounder cells from the same scene there. And here's one from Sonic Breakout. Uh, that one up there would be from Slow Going. This one's from um, Mama Robotnik's birthday. Um, I have a bunch of these sketches from the same scene. Here's one of Tails from Sonic's song. And I'm uh, selling a sketch of Dr. Robotnik from Sonic's song. And same with this sketch of a uh, Robotnik in a explosion. This one's from Mad Mike the Bear Warrior. Or the Robotnik Express, actually. Um, here's one of uh, Sonic from the Sat AM cartoon. Um, he also has a sketch, which is behind him, as you can see. Um, that one's from Sonic and Sally. Here's one from Pseudo Sonic, a bunch of Sonic and Tails together. Here's a uh, really cool one of Sonic falling from Pseudo Sonic. And uh, here's one of a laughing Robotnik. Here's one of Dr. Robotnik from Grounder the Genius and a sketch of Sonic from Grounder the Genius. Um, this one's from Submerged Sonic. Um, him doing his spin attack. Pretty cool, there's not a whole lot of Sonic cells doing that. Um, there's two Robotnik cells on here. They're from the same scene from uh, Full Tilt Tails. And uh, same with this one, the legendary tail smoking animation cells that I have of tails going in, lighting the cigarette, and tails smoking the cigarette. As you can see, the sketch behind him uh, has been ripped because uh, whoever previously owned this ripped the uh, cell off the sketch. So here's one of Mac Hopper from the uh, Mac Hopper episode. Uh, not a great cell, but this one came free with uh, the uh, Sadam cell of Sonic that I got, and uh, I'm waiting for another cell to put here. Here's one of Sonic from uh, Mama Robotnik Returns, as you can see it has uh, the Greater Deke um, seal on it. Um, here's one of Sat AM Robotnik, this one's a really cool one, and he even has a sketch behind him. Here's one of Sonic from Zubotnik, and also this one from Zubotnik. And uh, two more of Sonic from Zubotnik that are under there. Uh, this one is from Honey, I Shrunk the Hedgehog. This one is from Tails' Tail. Um, nice shot of him sitting on his plane. Uh, this one's from Fast and Easy. This was my first Sonic cell that I ever had. Uh, probably the best one of Tails. Um, this one's also from Fast and Easy. This one's a layout. And uh, there's two Sonic cells in the sketch. This is from the last scene in Fast and Easy. Uh, here's a layout from um, Robo Ninjas of Scratch and Grounder. And here's a cell of Grounder from Robo Ninjas. And also a cell of Dr. Robotnik from Robo Ninjas. This one's from the last episode, uh, Sonic Evely After of Tails, and uh, that's about it. So let's move on to the all the big stuff in my collection, and that would be all the Mario stuff. So let's just dive right into that. All right, let's start off with the earlier Mario stuff, starting off with this concept art cell of Princess Toadstool that heavily looks like Don Blue. Um, really awesome to own this. Next, we have this art. Um, piece of King Koopa, the uh, standard art of him, really nothing special. Um, here is the 
coolest thing in my collection. It's a Super Show setup from Episode 2, King Mario of Cramelot, that has all the right uh, layers, except for that background. This background's from Episode 1. And it's also upside down and stapled. So, uh, yeah, huge mess, but uh, really, really awesome that I finally have Super Show cells. So, uh, yeah. Next, we have this sketch of Butch Mario from the Super Show. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next is a cell of Mario and Luigi from Mario's Magic Carpet with a uh, background from Butch Mario and the Luigi Kid, but it's a print copy, so it's not stuck. Next, we have this cell of Luigi, the Messenger, and Toad from a Magically Totally adventure. And also a sketch of Mario and Princess Toadstool from the same episode. And uh, here's a just a copy background from the Super Show, the first episode of the Super Show. Um, next is a uh, nice uh, shot of all four main characters from episode 15, Do the Koopa from Mario 3. And it has the uh, uh, better Deke seal on it with a episode 4 background from the Super Show. Uh, there's quite a lot of Marios here. This is also from episode 15, Do the Koopa with uh, not a correct background. Pretty much all the backgrounds that I have from the Mario cartoons are not correct. Uh, I don't have any setups with the correct background, so these are just either copies or wrong backgrounds. Here's a really nice shot of Mario from uh, Pretty Pie Rocks, or known as the Millie Vanilli episode. There's another one, and another one that is not stuck to its sketch, and just another copy background. And here's a cell of both Millie and Vanilli with a background that's probably not even Mario and uh, also stapled. Here's a uh, sketch of Hip from uh, episode 24, Recycled Koopa. And here's a mouth sketch of King Koopa. Uh, here's a sketch of King Koopa, all from the same scene and episode. Here's one of Bully Koopa. And uh, here's uh, some cells from that scene too. And here's a really, really awesome one, a Raccoon Luigi, Toadstool, and Toad with a Deek seal. Um, I'm missing the layer of Mario. And also, this is the only episode 24 cell that has a Deek seal on it. I got it from my art dealer, so pretty cool. Here's a sketch of Raccoon Mario from episode 24, Recycled Koopa, and one of Luigi from the same scene and a cell from the same scene, too. And here's a awesome cell and sketch of Frog Luigi from the Venice Menace, episode 25 from the Mario 3 cartoon, and another cell of Luigi from episode 25, the Venice Menace. It's uh, sadly missing the layer of Mario, which uh, he would appear one day, so this would be awesome to have a setup of. Um, Here's a sketch of Mario and Luigi from the Super Mario World cartoon. This is from episode 3, Send in the Clowns. I think this is uh, a layout because of uh, how rough the drawing is. Uh, here's one of Yoshi and Uktar from the Cave Christmas episode. This goes unused in the scene, as well as his animation, so uh, they look pretty bad. Here's a awesome shaded sketch of Mario and Luigi from Born to Ride from Super Mario World. Episode 7, and another sketch from Born to Ride. This actually goes unused in the episode, so pretty cool to own. Um, here's a miscellaneous cell of Luigi. I have no idea what episode it's from. Um, I can't even read the production code down there. I have no idea what episode that's even from, so I just have this cell of Luigi. Um, here's a bunch of cells of Mario and Luigi that I also have no idea what episode they go to. They might be unused, um, but yeah, I just have a ton of these. Um, here's a background from the Super Show, Love em and Hate em, or Love em and Beat em. Um, here's a Mario 3 background from uh, Life's Rough. Another episode, uh, from another background from the same episode, Life's Rough, and another one from Life's Rough. Um, here's a background from True Colors. Um, this goes unused in the episode because there is no close-up of the painted wall that's in the episode. So pretty cool to own. Next is this awesome background from episode 24, Recycled Koopa. 
of uh, Princess Toadstool's kind of whole castle and garden. And here's another awesome background of Princess Toadstool's castle from episode 24, Recycled Koopa. And uh, last uh, Mario 3 background, which is also from episode 24, Recycled Koopa. Um, last thing that I have in here is this Mario world background from uh, Ghost or Us. And I guess I have one more background in here. This is a, a nice pan background from Born to Ride when um, everybody goes up the hill. So uh, yeah, let's move on to more Mario. Alright, here we go. More Mario stuff. Starting off with this awesome pan shot of Mario and Luigi from the later Mario World episodes. Uh, this would be from Party Line. As you can see, it has the better Deke seal on it. Uh, more cells from Party Line. Uh, the background, this is from the Super Show. This is from Butch Mario. The other background, I don't even know what it's from. Um, here's Luigi, all from the same scene. This one has its sketch. And uh, here's a just a random sketch of Luigi. Here's one of Mario. He also has his sketch. Another one of Mario with his sketch. And just a sketch of Mario. Here's a uh, sketch of Mario and Luigi, also from Party Line. And here's another shot of Mario from Party Line. Now we're moving on t into the Gopher Bash cells. This is where uh, all the Mario World cells pretty much come from. Gopher Bash, as you can see. There's a ton of Mario and Luigi cells from that one shot. Um, this one uh, is probably my favorite. Um, it's one that I have because it's two cells. Um, on the top it's both Mario and Yoshi and at the bottom is Luigi so uh, yeah they're all matching frames as you can see this one is a whole mess there's a bunch of Yoshi's and uh, Luigi they're all from the same scene from Gopher Bash more Gopher Bash stuff uh, running from Piranha Plants I'm missing some layers um, this one's a another really good shot of Mario Luigi and Yoshi from Gopher Bash, as you can see I have two, I have two cells in a sketch. Um, another shot from Gopher Bash, a lot of Luigi layers and a Yoshi. Um, this one, there's a lot um, to look at. Uh, everything, you can look at all this on Rubber Slug, they're all separated and scanned, which I'll put a link in the description for all the scans. You'll be able to see everything in this video in higher quality. But uh, yeah, here's a uh, Yoshi, um, Chitsi Koopa. There's two uh, from the same scene. Go for Bash. Uh, two cells of Mario, uh, Angry Mario. Really funny. Um, a bunch of cells of Mario and Luigi walking from Go for Bash. Uh, here's awesome cell of P Balloon Mario. And you, as you can see, I have a uh, quite a lot from this scene. A lot of sketches of Mario falling, really big shots. Uh, this is a unused cell of Mario from the scene, and yet another unused cell that is absolutely terrifying, which I'm glad they didn't use. Um, here's the uh, scene after where they're falling and they land on a platform. And uh, now we're moving on to a little learning cells. Uh, there's one of Princess Toadstool. Uh, there's two of Princess Toadstool and Hip and Hop. Uh, here's one of Princess Toadstool turning around. Uh, here's a really cool layout uh, from the episode that I have. It says Princess pats their heads and smiles at them. And uh, it says animation or whatever. I don't even know what studio that is. Um, and here's a sketch from that scene too. Uh, here is Mario and Luigi walking to be judges from the episode. And here's them walking into the school. Uh, here's one of King Koopa, also from the same episode. And yet another sketch from the same episode. Here's one of King Koopa about to jump into the pipe to go to the school. And here's a awesome cell of hip from the legendary this is a volcano scene not the frame but a still a cell from the scene here's one of hop with the bone 
here's a shot of Judge Mario. And here's a bunch, well actually two, of Mario, Luigi, and Princess Toadstool, and the two cavemen running when the uh, volcano explodes. Here's a sum of King Koopa and the piranha plant running from the same episode. And uh, here's a sketch, another sketch, and a sketch of Hip and Hop running. So uh, that's all the uh, older, later episodes of Mario World. Let's move on to everybody's favorite episode of Super Mario World. And that being Mama Luigi. Here we go, we're starting off with this great cell of Luigi on the skull raft, but as you can see, I don't have the skull raft, just Luigi. Uh, here's one of Luigi with some coins, when he uh, bashes the blocks. Uh, again, these aren't correct backgrounds. Here's an awesome one of Luigi holding Yoshi still in the egg, and it has the sketch behind him. Now we're moving on to stuff from the Mama Luigi deleted scene. As you can see, there's a sketch of Luigi reaching into his pocket to grab something to give to Yoshi, and then he has nothing in his pocket. And then here's one of Luigi ducking, because Blarg jumps out of lava. And as you can see, here's a bigger shot of the cell up there. Pretty cool. And then Luigi getting burnt, and then there's a ton of cells behind that one. And then here's one of Luigi putting down Yoshi, because he thinks the dinosaurs are his parents. And then of course, they are not. I don't have a layer of the other dinosaur, but there's the one dinosaur. And here's a really great shot of the uh, telling Luigi them to back away that he's a licensed plumber. And then here's another shot of Luigi running with Yoshi and Blarg. Again, not the correct background. It's just to put on whatever to protect the back. Here's one of a sketch of Luigi falling. And here's uh, two cells of that from the uh, same scene. And one last sketch. Moving on to the sea urchin from the episode. Here's one of Luigi telling Yoshi there's nothing to be afraid of in the water. And some legendary cells of Luigi, baby Yoshi, riding a dolphin. And here's a sketch of the dolphin. And then Here's one, well, five of these are from telling Yoshi to uh, stay there, and of course he doesn't, when Luigi rings out his cap. And uh, here's one of Luigi holding baby Yoshi, and Yoshi's in the uh, caterpillar. And here's uh, two cells of Mario getting slimed on, and Luigi helping him up. Here's a sketch of Mario uh, telling Luigi making fun of him that he got, uh, got called Mama Luigi, and you can see he, this is the cell of Luigi holding baby Yoshi, getting mad, and uh, some cells of Mario after the scene telling him that the princess is uh, trapped in Koopa's Coney Island Disco Palace. And you can see I have a bunch from this scene. And uh, here's uh, another great shot of Luigi holding baby Yoshi giving him to Mario. Uh, here's a lone cell of Mario holding baby Yoshi. I don't have a cell layer of Luigi. Um, have a bunch of sketches from the beginning of the I'm looking for you song. And uh, have a sketch too. And a cell. Here's uh, them running from the fire. The two Marios go unused in the scene. They were originally going to run in and then turn around, not uh, just turn around immediately. And uh, here's some of the Koopa statue and Baby Yoshi. Next we have this sketch of Baby Yoshi jumping. He looks pretty goofy. Uh, here's one of King Koopa. One Mario and Luigi are walking through the palace. Uh, here's a cell of King Koopa telling um, the brothers that he'll be back. I have a quite a few from this scene as you can see and a sketch and the last thing that I have is baby Yoshi spitting out the key from the episode so yeah that's all my Mario world uh, stuff now let's move on to the last art portfolio that I have 
And that would be all the backlog of stuff that I have that I just can't fit in any of the other art portfolios that I have. So here's a layout of Mario from Mario 3, uh, Do the Koopa, episode 15. Here's uh, even more layouts from the same episode. Uh, Mario jumping down to get the Doom Dancer music box. And then him starting to run towards the music box. And then here's a uh, really awesome shot of Mario and Luigi and Princess Toadstool from Super Mario World Party Line. Uh, these are all the wrong layers, they're not all matching. So here's one of a piranha plant from Gopher Bash. Uh, here's one of Luigi and Yoshi falling from Gopher Bash. Um, another cell of Pea Balloon Mario floating down to land on a platform. Uh, here's two of Uktar from A Little Learning. And then Princess Toadstool, all from the same scene, but they're not matching layers. Here's one of Princess Toadstool looking at Yoshi and Uktar, but I don't have the layers of them, but I do have the layer of the table. And funny enough, that layer of Princess Toadstool goes unused in the scene. Um, here's another cell of Mario, Luigi, and Princess Toadstool and the two cavemen running out of the school from A Little Learning. And here we have some really funny Mama Luigi cells of Luigi carrying a headless baby Yoshi. As you can see, I have two, and then three, and then four of these cells, all from the same scene. And then I have a cell of uh, Luigi and baby Yoshi from the uh, Mario Help Wherever You Are scene, but it's not the uh, uh, frame of him yelling, sadly. Here's another weird one of a Luigi's arms is holding a baby Yoshi. I uh, have uh, five of these, so this would be three. And these start, these ones start to have a mouth on baby Yoshi. I guess the other ones were layers. Uh, yeah. And then here's a fireball from the "I'm Looking for You" song. And then uh, here's some Super Show backgrounds. This is from the eighth episode, "Love 'Em, Beat 'Em." Also, uh, Queen Rotunda's palace, and then I guess her kitchen. Uh, this one's from Mario 3, Life's Rough. And all same with this one. And this one's from Up Up in a Koopa. This one is from episode 24, Recycled Koopa. This one is from episode 26, Super Koopa. And this one is from Super Mario World Ghost Arrest. So there you have it. That is everything that I have in my collection. Um, this whole backlog stuff is stuff that I need to get around the scanning that's not on my rubber slug yet, but uh, I will eventually get to it later. Hope you guys enjoyed, and again, if you saw something that you like that you want to see a clear image of, my rubber slug account will be in the description and you could view it there in better quality. So. Tell me, what was your favorite cell that you saw in this video? And uh, yeah. So with that said, I will see you in the next video.